Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Summer Day Shawl, which you can see here in the photo in front of you as well if you head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. You'll find some other photos of it there as well. This is a lightweight rectangular shawl which uh, you can also see here in front of you it is lacy airy and open and it's made using a light weight yarn it is similar on the front and on the back the shawl measures approximately 18 inches in width and 74 inches long and that's excluding my tassels the tassels here on the end are optional for this pattern. Now uh, in this uh, tutorial and in my sample that I've done here I have worked my shawl using the Karen Skinny Cakes by Yarnspirations and for each uh, shawl you're going to need about approximately 1600 yards or two cakes. You'll use a little bit less than that depending on how long your tassels are. Um, the shawl can be made including the tassels with the two cakes. Also, along with your two Karen Skinny Cakes or other lightweight yarn, you're going to need a four millimeter crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here, I invite you to take a look around and uh, feel free to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free stitch tutorials and crochet patterns. Our pattern today is worked in rows and it's worked lengthwise so you're going to be working that long edge first. So the first thing you're going to do is make your slip knot and then you're going to work a foundation chain. Your foundation chain is going to be 342 chains. Now just to give you a heads up, uh, our first row will be a single crochet in each stitch all the way along. So if you would like to work a uh, foundation row of single crochets so that you don't have to work your chain stitches, uh, you are most welcome to do that. You'll need a total of 341 uh, single crochets in that foundation row. So go ahead, uh, start working your 342 chain stitches and then meet me back here. Once you have worked your foundation chain there of 342 chains, as mentioned earlier, we're going to work a row of single crochet stitches. So beginning in the second chain from your hook, count in one, two, into that second chain, work a single crochet, and then single crochet into each chain all the way across. At the end of this row, we are going to chain five and, uh, and turn our work. So single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, once you have worked one single crochet in each chain all the way across, you're going to chain five and turn your work. For row two, you're going to skip that first chain that your chain five is coming out of and the next chain, and then you're going to work a single crochet into the next. Chain two, skip two, and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip two stitches, and single crochet into the next stitch. Chain five, skip the next three stitches, and single crochet into the next stitch. We're now going to start our repeat chain two, skip two, and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, 
skip two and single crochet into the next. Chain five, skip three and single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. I'll go through it one more time with you. Chain two, skip two, double crochet into the next. Chain two, skip two, single crochet into the next. Chain five, skip three, and single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across to your final two stitches where you will chain two and work a double crochet into that final stitch. I'm here at the end of my row two. I have two stitches remaining so I'm going to chain two, skip the next stitch, and double crochet into that final stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. For row three you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the top of that double crochet stitch. Skip the next chain two space and then work four double crochets into the next chain two. So skip your next chain two, skip the single crochet, and then into that next chain two space work four double crochet stitches. Double crochet into the next double crochet stitch and work four double crochets into the next chain two. Next, skip the next single crochet and then single crochet into that chain five space. You're now going to repeat. Work four double crochets into your next chain two space. Double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. four double crochets into the next chain two space. And single crochet into the next chain five. Repeat that all the way across to your final chain two where you will skip that chain two and work a single crochet into your uh, third chain of that starting chain five. So at the end of row three you'll have worked your four double crochet stitches into that uh, chain two and then you're going to single crochet into the next uh, chain five space or into that third chain so whatever you're more comfortable with just single crochet into that third chain or the chain five space for row four you're going to chain five and turn your work next Skip the first two stitches, one, two, and single crochet into the next. Chain five, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet into the next. Ch 
chain two, skip the next two stitches, and double crochet into the next stitch, and that should be your single crochet. So double crochet into that single crochet stitch. Chain two, skip two, and single crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to repeat chain five, skip three, and single crochet into the next, chain two, skip two, and double crochet into the next, chain two, skip two, and single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across to your final two stitches um, and you're going to chain two and then double crochet into your final stitch. At the end of row four you're going to chain two and double crochet into that final stitch. For row five, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Your chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to work four double crochets into that next chain two space. and single crochet into the next chain five space. Double crochet, uh, work four double crochets into your next chain two space. Double crochet into the next double crochet stitch and then work four double crochets into your chain two space. You're now going to repeat all the way across, single crochet into the next chain five space, work four double crochets into the next chain two space, double crochet into the next double crochet stitch and four double crochets into your next chain two. Repeat that all the way across to your final chain two space. At the end of row five, you've come to your final chain two and then what would be your double crochet. Uh, so it was actually the starting chain five. But you're going to work uh, your four double crochets into that chain two. One more. And then you're going to finish the row off with a double crochet into that third chain of the starting chain five. And that brings you to the end of your row five. So this is what your work should look like. You're now going to repeat your rows three, which was down here, through to five until the work from the beginning measures approximately 18 inches. So continue working. You're going to work through about one and a half or one and three quarters of your Karen Skinny Cake. So continue working that. Once uh, you have completed that, you can fasten off and uh, weave in your ends if you'd like. And then you're going to work as an easy edging along the side. 
So if you didn't want to fasten off right away for the first edging, that's okay. I'm just going to show you how to work the edging uh, on this uh, small swatch of the shawl that I've worked. So what you're going to do if you have fastened off and woven in your ends, you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch into your top corner and you're going to chain one. You're then going to evenly work along your edge. Now yours will be a lot wider, it'll be about 18 inches. You're going to evenly work about 102 single crochet stitches across. Now the edging is very flexible so if you find you need more or less that's okay too. Just make note of it so that you can do the same on the other side. You're going to do this to both of your short ends. So simply work 102 or the desired number of single crochet stitches all the way across and I'm just inserting my hook here where I feel comfortable just work all the way across that rough end of your shawl once you come to the end you're going to chain one and turn. You're now going to work two rows of half double crochet stitches. So simply half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. Again you should have 102 stitches or just your desired amount. At the end of the first row of half double crochets, chain one, turn your work, and half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. Once you have finished working the row of single crochets and two rows of half double crochet stitches, you can then fasten off your work and weave in your ends. Now on the shawl that I made, and I'll show you it here, the full one, I did put a short fringe just made with little tassels along so you can see this is my finished edging and then I have these little tassels worked. You can make your tassels as long as you would like as I mentioned you'll probably have um, about a half or a third of a cake left and you're going to then just cut, I cut six inch lengths of yarn uh, you can make them longer or shorter. I took four strands and put them together and then every second stitch along my edge. So I started in one corner, placed them on my hook, pulled it through the stitch, and I did this in every second stitch all the way across. Made sure that they were fairly even. And then for my fringes, I just simply tie a knot. I then don't have to worry if anything is not secured. Uh, and whatnot, it's quick, it looks good, and uh, and washes well as well also. So I just tie a quick knot, pull it tight, skip the next stitch, grab four more pieces of yarn, pull it through with my crochet hook. fold it over and then tie a simple knot. You're going to want to make sure that you get all of the strands pulled through of course and you're going to want to make sure that you pull that knot down to the base close to your fabric and make sure that it's fairly tight. 
So that's all there is to working your summer day shawl. And uh, I hope that you enjoy it. I'll just bring my finished one back up here. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, stitch tutorial. I love to see your finished products, so feel free to tag me on social media or share in the Rich Textures Crochet Facebook community. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.